Adjon, Mbokala teme de Didi, o teme de Tati, o teme de Joy. Mbokala yoba. Principal andata hen, director andata, pamene sector andata. Komi ngiri, jinna abe kari, pendara suka abe mape. Para kasi kola to embata, kodo gale be futoro. Okay. Riko dume nke bieta be komi nkalta tawa. Okay, viewers, just to remind you again, you're watching, if you're watching GRTS, you're watching Education Forum on the grade 9 and 12 passing our ceremonies usually organized outside of the schools. The, in the studio here are the department secretary, the head, heads of schools, principals, teachers, and PTAs, and soon we'll also be hearing from the students, the parents, and the principals as to whether they are in support of these activities normally championed by the grade 9 and grade 12s. We have uh, Jarga Gay. Jarga is the president of the National Student Patriotic Association. Jarga, what's yes. your own take? Um, thank you very much, um, Louis. I will need to add my voice or perhaps to record on what the previous speakers have said. I think this is already a concern a cause for concern, and that it requires all efforts to make uh, making sure we put an address to it. Uh, already it is, it is banned, but we must look into some of the nitty-gritties that surrounds these activities. Um, speaking on behalf of the National Periodic Student Association, NAPSA, I must first and foremost uh, put it forward that we are not in support of these activities. Um, but again, we should all understand that it's not, a, it's not a new trend. This is becoming uh, an evolution. It started here. We started discussing about it. And it has been factored in part of our annual Meet the Student Store. Any school that we visit, these are kind of the student miss them, you know, that we always sensitize with our um, peers in the schools. However, in lately, we've seen it take another dimension, uh, the dimension of um, the goody ties, the goody bin bin, and the secret places uh, that has been mentioned. Uh, it's very dis discouraging, it's very disheartening, considering the fact that the participants of those activities are supposed to be the people that will take the responsibility of this country. And there is this saying, tell me the, the activities of the young people of your country, and I will tell you the future of your country. So if us as students now are indulged in this kind of activities, I think there's a question that we need to ask ourselves. Because for me, I always hear with the students, um, the future belongs to us. We are supposed to take full responsibility of it. But it should be in a positive dimension and not the way we are, we are, we are, we are doing it. And again, we, have, we mounted a fact finding, a finding. And we were able to realize very interesting things, like what previous speakers said. Uh, I think more of it is based on the issue of exploitation. Um, the participants or the organizers of this kind of activities uh, centered in more of having economic gains uh, to the expense of the students. And interestingly, they are the same people that are telling the students that NAPSA is not, is not fighting for you. You should go to NAPSA and query because they are stopping these carnivals, they are stopping these activities. Um, I want to advise the students, let them not be fooled by those people. Uh, you cannot organize an activity uh, in the, with the intent of exploiting the students to their expense, and you say you, you want us to uh, stand there and support your cause as an outsider. Because those that organize this are not actually within the school system. They are not, they are not teachers. They are just uh, boys or ghettos or from people that have graduated and started getting into the schools. You're trying to use the students um, to get economic gains. So I want to solemnly um, qualify NAPSA's position that we are not in support of this. And any student that come to query because Carnival is banned. We are not in support of this. And I think we are partners that are taking a leading role in making sure uh, it, it did not even happen. Because we want to breed um, responsible people uh, that will take care of the, the, the responsibilities of this country. But in this direction that we are taking, we are not in support of it. And it doesn't mean NAPSA is not here for you. We are, of course, there for you. Because this is what we think uh, is not in line with making so uh, you become right of future. These are not activities that we think they are in line. Like they have said, NAPSA itself will, will add our voice to that. We are not saying there shouldn't be program. These are things that people should understand because these are the misconceptions that people take, go around. The NAPSA is supporting them in this cause. You know, the parties are saying this and then we are saying no to it. And we are not 
no programs to take place in the schools, like the previous speakers have said. But the approach in which these passing out are held, they are really cause for concern, and not, we are not really in, in support of the, the method in which they use uh, to have these programs held. Thank you. Good evening, viewers. <coughs> I am Mr. Badara Waljalo, principal of Daddy Job Comprehensive School. This is a very useful and very important forum. When I talk, I always indicate that we, the adults, and the previous speakers, we meant business. We are not organizing this forum just to get you here to listen. When I got the information about this forum, straight away I put certain points on paper, which has already been echoed. Allow me two minutes. Let me re-echo the voices of the previous speakers and their dimensions of my, I mean, uh, uh, statement. Number one, we said about the mode of celebration of passing out parties. Students take liberty of organizing passing out ceremonies without informing school authorities, you will get the answer for yourselves. Is that right or wrong? Number two, private entertainment establishments or businesses supporting students to organize these celebrations mm -hmm. purposely to get money from students. Thirdly, private entertainment businesses are ignoring the bad effects of these parties that are against the social and cultural norms and values of the Gambian society. Are they good and patriotic citizens? You've got the answer. Fourthly, these celebration parties and parties usually held outside the schools or secret venues usually law students to experience, I will say it, sex and sex-related activities. Nude parades, I am aware of that. Cannabis and other illicit drugs. How many of our girls that came out of these experienced parties stands, are now standing on the streets soliciting? They turn out to be prostitutes. That's the media. And let us carry the message. Two, those who involve in illicit drugs during these parties turn out to be drug addicts. How many of our young students are already on the streets, they are mad. These are examples that you must use to understand what we are saying. Is there any way that we can stop it? By my own thinking, it has been re-echoed too. Now, the school, let's start with the school. Like the school that I am, the Job Comprehensive School, we have rules on passing out parties, which must be enforced. We are enforcing that. And uh, this also involves the effective participation and in involvement of the PTA. It should also be part of the student's code of conduct for the principals, my colleagues. Look at you, review your code of conduct again. And sign it in your rules, school rules and code of conduct. Through the conference of principals also, I am charging you, although you are doing I mean, uh, you are crusading against these things, but I would expect you to do much. Parents now. The problem that we have are the parents. Now, parents should always liaise with schools to verify all information that are coming from their children. Don't sit and relax and say, school be No, find out. Parents should also <coughs> ascertain whether the, 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 uh, when to grant permission to their children to attend these functions. If they can, let them go to the venues where their children have been permitted to go. With that, I have samples. For me, since December 13th, I have written to the parents to inform them about this part. You will allow me to stand? Mm -hmm. and let, let, let me show you. The secretary to the conference of principal mentioned, Thank you. and I don't talk without giving examples, mm -hmm. for the media and for your own interest, this is very ungodly. School uniform being torn into pieces, and they are less privileged students. 
as he rightly said, why can't you give it to those ones?